to Life is Strange Part 2 of okay. the first episode. Where well, last part we found that we could time travel. So where's our room? Do we have to go through this door? Where do we go? Do we have to interact with these people? Damn. Even Mark, Mayor Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? You bitch. Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. <gasps> what the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking ass cost? Look. Great. I can't even chill on the step. That's what you get for being a bitch.
So yeah, the camera just cut out. Time to go see Warren. Oh, Warren. I don't mind waiting here forever. I love the park lot. The more that I text, the take longer it takes on my way. Bye. Okay. Go. Go, 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 run. Fuck this shit. By the way, thanks, but we're not friends. Okay. Damn, I better rewind. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Fuck this shit. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. So don't think I'm mind. I see everything left. You should have Uh, intervene. Hey! Why don't leave alone? You should be bullying me. Nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Seems like a bit of a deck. Oh, Mac, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping me. Oh, name. For such a bad guy. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Max, get your ass over here. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. I got me very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Ready? Really? I wish I would've known. You probably could've raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that, Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more yeah. disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy okay. with a sensitive vampire? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Not at all. Sensitive is good, unless you're a pushover. You have hip taste and a quick mind. Thanks for noticing, Max. The right girl will too. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. 
Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. And we're back. Answer me, bitch. I told him the truth. I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. I could call the police. Do it. The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude. Hey, leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, or that whore Thank in the bathroom. You. Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go, go, I got you. Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Wow. Someone to be all of us. Nathan Prescott is messed up. And dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend always beats it. I think you're not really one of them. are trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. I guess. It was like I fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smart ass. That's why I'm here. Please, mm. girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Hey, from Mark Jefferson. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, too. I'm glad you found a good reason. What did you know you were about it? I wanted to. I wanted to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh, please. I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these fat excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. taking a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. She seems nice. Very nice.
Come on in. Don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. <laughs> home shit home. Wow. So that guy broke our camera. Great. Just great. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Wait, where's music? Where is that? Box? Oh, such box. person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. So, Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Rachel had my back. We were going to kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She you look like a Get foot villain into Los Angeles. I see why. I see why. I bet your mom was not too happy. She was happy enough to marry a Nazi. Reason for three chicks. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Rachel, gone. Can you put on some music now? Poor girl. Everyone left her. Where's the stereo? Oh, stereo is there. Oh, hi fi. It won't play without any power. There you go, hi fi's on now. Find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Hmm. Yeah, the garage is probably downstairs. Okay, okay, send us a message. Thanks again, Max, for helping me. No, no problem. That guy's an asshole. Okay. I have 
haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. If you're listening, he was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered. Told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. And you've got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Open. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? I can understand why. People like um, Nathan. Open cupboard. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Are they in this cupboard? That's food. Files could be bad. Look. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. Car. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. <laughs> 